Renina Walili, she'll be playing Noor El Shabini. That is a clash of the Titans with Noor El Shabini being the current world champion number two seed and Renima Willi dominating the women's tour as the current world number one for Shabini just to slightly settle the nerves. Three love. Good movement from El Walili. Well, the rally was much better from El Walili, but look at that finish from Shabini. No real physicality at all. Eleven four going to Shabini. Shabini leads one game to love. Laurel Shabini, who's not dropped a game in this event, has been helped along by a very sluggish start from El Walili. Ten minutes in duration. Well, the double boast from El Walili. So she's racking off points. This is a real seesaw back and forth. Yeah, that's a difficult movement. Well, there again, the attacking abilities of Shabini. Walili moving so much better, though, in this second. a stroke no it's not a stroke I think she should have played it you're thinking no lap possibly oh, oh it is a, a no let call. it is a no let but you know the ball was there to play and that is serious seriously important for Radim El Walili. 22 minutes, she was steaming ahead in that second and then suddenly Shabini turned it on and came back, holding her off. It's now one game all. out 1-4. Try and manoeuvre Shabini away from that T area, Vanessa. She's really teeing it up for her. Look at this. And she's just cutting it in. I mean, that's a ridiculous shot. Her mindset is, I'm not going to get into real Seven physical rallies. One. I'm going to use my racket work, and when I've got the opportunity, I'm going to make every shot count. And that's what she's doing. She's still got five game balls. She has. She's she is absolutely going for it. unleashed it. <laughs> Two forehand volleys in a row. Oh, my, oh goodness. my goodness, me. <laughs> Completely <laughs> walloped. Shabini, Shabini that low kill. She walks one. off looking very stern. The alter ego. She wouldn't say boo to a goose in an interview, but on court, she goes into a superhero mode, the warrior princess. Look at that for a look. 30 minutes, the defending world champion now moves to two games to one. Just going in short, far too early from El Walili. Four love. She lost the footing. She slipped a few times there. What is she doing? She's completely at sea here in the desert.
just trying to find and something, five, anything eight. to get her into this match. <laughs> she does. She goes for it off the serve. She just won the world championship. Three games to one. The Warrior Princess. She's 11, been out four, due nine, to injury. 11, 11, five, 11, six. For the whole of the early part of the 2019 season, she only won the world championships in Chicago in March. But she's managed to retain her title. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. For the fourth time here at the Pyramids. Quite stunned, really, Vanessa. I mean, it's uh, a lot of unforced errors and a really nervy performance. Here's championship ball, but she was so accurate. Incredible. I can't quite believe it. I really was not expecting this at all. This will take some recovering from for uh, Renima Walili. Not the loss itself. She's uh, she's a very very good loser, but uh, just the way it unfolded, she didn't really make her mark at all in that match. All these pictures being streamed and beamed around the world. And we have ourselves a new world champion. So let's see how she's feeling. That'll be a good one, good one. So here we are again. Um, try and put that into words. Uh, we were just talking about, you might have overheard, coming back from that, that knee injury. This is a way to come back onto the scene, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's... Uh... Like the couple of months were very, very hard for me. I didn't know what I'm gonna do. And uh, from almost not playing any tournament in the season, but uh, I said, uh, I just took the risk and took the decision to just, I wanted to play this tournament badly and uh, I wanted to come and try and see how it goes. But uh, yeah, I was getting better every uh, match. And uh, yeah, I'm very, very grateful and uh, happy to be standing here right now. and. Uh, yeah, I'm, I actually I miss playing with a lot of to all the top players and especially of course Ranim is uh, my closest to my heart and it's it's hard to play her and uh, it's very hard mentally and uh, emotionally but uh, yeah we uh, we try to uh, we try to get up all the emotions and just focus on squash once we get inside the court.